Here's another quick review for G1 uh, Small Headmaster Squeeze Play. Um, I mostly got him just to have an even number, and I really kind of like the design. He looks, uh, when I got horrible, uh, he, he looks vaguely like a Dire Wraith, uh, I think, from Rom Space Knight, if you ever read those. Uh, one of the female Dire Wraiths. Uh, not exactly, but similar enough that I like it. Um, I've also heard, uh, uh, what was the name of the creature? Gordo or Gorbo or... I don't remember. Um... One of the Godzilla monsters. But he's a little creature. He's got some little pincher claws. Little squeezers. Hence the name Squeeze Play. And I'm going to take a moment to point out uh, one of the colors here on this guy. This, the purple. All these purple pieces um, are way more actual purple here showing up on camera. And I don't know what is up with that. When uh, in real life they're actually a lot more reddish purple. I mean, they're still purple, but they're 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 a completely different shade. If you have the toy, this isn't faded. It's the same colors as the original toy. It's just this purple is showing up really weird on camera. I mean, really weird. It looks a lot bluer than it should. Every other camera, every other color shows up just fine, but this one is just it's just weird. Let me see if I'm putting... No, that doesn't help either. I wonder if I put just something white behind it. Nope, even that's not changing. That helps a little bit, but it's it's still nowhere near the proper color that it should be. So that's just really weird. But anyway, I just wanted to point that out as an oddity because uh, anybody who has this figure, you know the the red, the, the purple here is a lot, a lot richer than this camera is showing, and I just thought that was weird. But anyway, on to the figure itself. Um, not a whole lot of articulation in creature mode. Uh, one of the slight drawbacks is here is like that's just... That's the best position you can really get his hands in in monster mode. It's not a bad position, it just seems a little cramped. If they, you know, all, all he would have had to do is make these shoulders be able to slide out a little bit and you could have a little bit more arm motion. But, uh, alas, no. Same with these pieces down here, but we'll get to that in robot mode. Uh, his partner, Lokos, is uh, hiding here in his chest cavity, and, and like you saw with uh, Horrible. Uh, he's also his purple is also the, the same, you know, reddish purple. But uh, just a mi micro headmaster. There's no panel to flip up, uh, and this is the only point of articulation. You can't move his legs or his arms individually like you could on the bigger headmasters. But there's Locos, and then to transform, squeeze, play. You want to lift up his monster head just like that. Uh, flip his arms out to the side. Go ahead and pop his little tail slash shield off and flip that tab up. And then uh, lift his arms up like this. Rotate this whole piece around. Just like that. Flip these out to form the toes and heels. Uh, flip his arms out like this. And then, let's back this up just a wee bit. Take logos, fold them in half, and plug them right in there. Again, there's no panel to cover the stats there. Um, and then he can hold his monster tail as a shield, or if you want to pretend these are laser guns, there's a second weapon. And he does have a normal rifle that doesn't store anywhere in monster mode. And there he is. Um, and again, he I, I like him. I like his colors, which, like I said, are not quite the same color you're seeing here on camera for whatever weird reason. Um... The only drawback, I do wish, again, much like Horrible, I wish this head flipped up a little closer to the back. It just kind of hangs down like a a back plate. And it's not super weird, except for the fact that there's a face down at the bottom of it. Um, I would have liked it, like, you can see these are screwed in, but there's th these pieces are, right here are actually part of the leg and not part of the, uh, the back. So you can't actually, even though they're screwed in, they look like they should move, you can't move these legs. So you can't fold them up a little bit, or you can't fold them further down to hide on his back. In robot mode, they just kind of stick up there over the shoulders. So a couple minor complaints, but for a small figure, he's got a lot of personality. I really like his. Um, he just looks great for display. Um, he's just very interesting and very cool. Um, limited articulation, like I said, you got the knees, uh, the waist, and shoulders, and you kind of got a little bit at the elbows, but just you know this way. Um, but but for what he is, he's he's really pretty cool. So there you have it. Uh, Headmaster G1 Squeeze Play.